Hey guys, it's Nelson with Galaxy Note 3 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to show you how to set your favorite pictures from your photo sharing sites as a daydream on your Galaxy Note 3. Uh, if you guys are familiar with daydream, it's the screensaver feature on on the Galaxy Note 3. It's also on the Galaxy S4 on a few other devices. Um, so yeah, it turns your device into a screensaver. And there aren't a huge amount of applications in the Play Store that are integrated with it, but there are a few, and I'm going to show you one of them today, which is relatively new, and it's pretty cool. So, set up the Play Store, the application is called Dayframe. So what it does is it gathers pictures from uh, sites like Instagram, Tumblr, and then it sets them as your daydream on your device. So, I'm going to just install it, and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that you can do with it. Okay, it's a quick download, it's a <clears throat> fairly small uh, application. And once it's downloaded on your device, you'll be taken through a short tutorial, uh, which I'll go through with you. And there you can log into your photo sharing um, applications and then set certain playlists to show uh, when Daydream comes on your device. So now that it's downloaded, okay, just install. You get started, and here you can pick um, pick one for now, uh, for one of the photo sharing sites that you can choose from, and they'll choose photos from that place. So I'm gonna choose Instagram, and I'm going to log in with my Instagram. Okay, and from there now you can choose some photo streams for some of the things that you like. You can select three. Um, I'm going to pick Deep Space, Science and Technology, and Foodie Food. Okay, so now I'm going to add these streams, and now we can open the gallery. So from here, I'll be taking, this is the um, my Instagram feed, not my pictures, but the uh, pictures that people that I uh, follow post. So from there, if you press play, you'll see what the daydream will look like. So each picture is set for a certain amount of seconds, which you can change in the settings. I think right now it's at 10 seconds. And from there, uh, it'll just this is what your screensaver will look like when your device is charging. But first, I'm gonna, you have to set it in Daydream in the settings. So I'm going to show you that in a little bit after I go through some of the features. If you want to skip a picture, you can also swipe. You can go back as well. You can actually even like the pictures directly from this on uh, for Instagram. So that's pretty cool. And you can look at... It's an alternative way to look at Instagram um, as opposed to going on Instagram. So I'm going to exit now. Uh, if you click over here, well, you'll, you can go to my photo streams and you can see some of the photo streams that the application has picked for you. Um, this is mine. Here's photos that I've liked. Um, here's NASA's um, playlist. There's these because I, since I pick space and food stuff, uh, it'll use some of the tumblers and uh, Instagram and uh, Flickr uh, playlists. And let's see, I'll just pick uh, deep space objects. And if I press play, it'll do the same thing and it'll go through the features. Oh, this is a screen saver, uh, timer. Um, it'll only use the screen saver from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. So you can start that timer and that'll be associated with your daydream. And from there, you can also, same thing, like I said before, you can go through all these pictures, and I like space. So this one uh, is one of my favorites. Uh, if you go to some of the settings, um, actually, I'll go to Discover. Um, Discover here, you can pick, uh, you can go to the settings again and pick some more playlists for you to choose from. Uh, you can set the timers for when, when you want the uh, daydream to come out, and you can go to settings as well. And settings, you can set different um, different things like uh, the duration that each image lasts on here. Um, if you want details to show, you might want to take that off because you, you just want the picture to look good. Uh, you can show the clock at the top if you want. I like showing the clock. Um, if you go here, if you tap on the clock, it, you'll be, you can be taken to any application. So you can choose here. If I want it to go to the camera, it'll go to the camera. I'll show you that guys in a little bit. And then here, uh, this has to do with um, battery and how much you want to save. You can only use it. Uh, you can set it to only run during Wi-Fi um, when you want it to stop at a battery percentage. 
things like that. So if you exit now, so now I'm gonna go press play again. And this way you can only see the picture and there's a time. And if you tap on the time, I'll be taken to the to this, which is another application. Uh, so if I exit now, I'm gonna show you guys, go to settings and you go to device, display, and daydream. And that's how uh, you set it to come out during daydream. And then you select day frame from there. And then you can press start now. And there's your daydream. And you can like the picture, like I said. And this will happen anytime you, you press there, um, press play from daydream or you uh, charge it. And it's a cool screensaver, and it's uh, I like the Instagram feed because yeah, you can like pictures, and you can it's an alternative way to go through Instagram. And if you tap up here on the time, you'll be taken to this application. So yeah, all right, well that's it. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Galaxy Note 3 Softmodder. All right, thanks.